I've been a part of the project since 2019, um, which was the first initial um, workshops. So I was already kind of workshopping and researching, you know, who the drifters were, what, what was the story. I'd never heard of, um, you know, Faye Treadwell, because I guess she was kind of written out of out of the story, out of history. Through the story, again, that Ed Curtis has, um, has written, you see and understand the, the the magnitude of how hard it was to keep, you know, those boys kind of in check and how Beverly Knight portrays Faye Treadwell uh, so beautifully. You understand not only were those doors bolted shut, they wasn't even, there wasn't even a door to even like tw twizzle the knob. There wasn't, there wasn't one. And what, what, um, what Faye had to do was create, create her own door. For the sake of her child and the legacy that her husband, who sadly passed away, had left, she had to fight. And, um, and I think Beverly Knight, working with Bev, and what she's done with the character, it's its just beautiful to watch. It's a, a story of people of African descent. And I think Michael, Jonathan, Ed, Jonathan the director and Ed the writer, I think they're all, they were all aware from the get-go that a lot of topics and issues being raised in the show, they may have had limiting, limited understanding toward. So I think it's really easy with actors to go do this, and that's what that is, and not really care much for their opinion. But I think with Michael, first and foremost, his actors are people that have opinions and have, an ex have experiences, and he's interested to see what those experiences and opinions do to a show. To have a say, to be at the table and to have an opinion about the story that we were going to tell, that hasn't happened before, especially in the West End, um, for a, you know, a black cast um, to be able to have that opportunity. We also had people of colour and on our creative team, Miles Brown, uh, Tyrone Hutley, uh, Maisie Bolden. We had we had them to look at as well, which was so unique. I know for me, it was so unique to see that on the creative team as well. Um, and you know, it was just something you could relish in. It was something you can go, wow, I'm safe. Their openness to open that dialogue is really a, a great step uh, in the right direction and we really hope when people come and see it the fact that we've been able to co-create it is going to set a precedent for musicals in the future you know I love playing you know different characters putting on different hats at, and that's what's so I guess that's what's so um, impressive there's something about seeing multi-role playing happening right in front of you that is just infectious once you know yeah this character stands like this and has this kind of vibe this character stands like that and walks with this kind of vibe. Once, you, once you're, you're in that space, you kind of know who's who, um, and then you can kind of flip between them. It builds into your muscle memory. Um, so yeah, that has, that's has been really fun, um, but finding it and, and using the process in the rehearsal uh, time to find what those characters were um, was, a, was, a great, was a great process with everyone. It was collaborative and um, we all, helped each other. You get to push yourself vocally and physically and on a dime become somebody else and have an audience member believe that you know you, you are somebody else and I think it, it's a great skill, it's a, it's a great Shakespearean skill that um, I think Ed Curtis has kind of you know run, ran with and I think um, it does, it pushes us yeah. as performers doesn't it? It is yeah. weird like we've never like yes we've heard each other sing but actually we've never sung together. I remember the first day that we all came together around the piano in rehearsals and we sang one of the songs together. Yeah. And we were all like, we're like ooh, ooh. Kissing in the Back Row is my favourite song, which he sings mm. amazingly. Uh, mine is um, Money Honey, which Matt sings very, very, <laughs> very, very beautifully. There Goes My Baby, which is the one that Adam sings because he sings his throat out. <laughs> because I love to hear him scream his <laughs> It's just so fun. It's just so fun. Um, I, I, that nostalgic feeling uh, that not only, I guess I guess my thing is, when my mum came to see the show, right, she was just singing for the whole show. This morning, uh -huh. my four-year-old son was mm -hmm. at Alexa going, Alexa, Alexa, please play Hello Happiness by The Drifters. <laughs> so, you know, this is a show for, from four till 99, You'll enjoy it. It's, it's so catchy. You, it's yeah. The songs just stay with you. Stay, they do.